welcome listeners to Crossing Borders, a podcast not about immigration. I am your host, Josh, also known as Mythic, and this is my co-host, Sid, also known as Squidney. Grab your passports and join us for episode 2, where we'll be talking about education across borders. But first, let's catch up with each other's week. So, Squidney, anything interesting happening to you this week? Well, now that you mention it, I, um, I thought I would bring this up, you know, since... Since we uh, do this every episode, obviously, one plans ahead. So, this mm-hmm. week, um, me and my siblings decided to do a uh, role-playing game campaign using a system called Starfinder. So, it's like space. Uh-huh. Like lasers and spaceships and things like that. Interesting. Um, uh-huh. And uh, I'm going to be the GM. And I've never done that before. So, I needed, I needed stuff. I needed gear. I needed... The goodies, the goodies, yeah. So I hopped online. Yeah, I hopped online, spent like an hour looking at um, battle mats and board things and stuff. And I ordered a a standard grid battle map with a hexagon grid on the other side because it's fancy. And some wet erase markers for that. But then I was met with Mm -hmm. the dilemma. What should I buy for tokens or the miniatures? The minifigures uh-huh. to represent the players and the enemies. Yep. And I thought about this uh, for a while. For I knew that minifigures often aren't cheap. Uh, yes, clearly. Or at least in the quantity I want them. I wanted uh, quite a few. That way I'd have enough for any encounter and I would have enough for any situation just in general. Um, and yep. I didn't want to have to go like, oh, I have this goblin piece, but uh, I don't have a zombie piece. So I'm just going to use this goblin and pretend it's a zombie, you know? And then <laughs> I found the solution. The the, the, the the holy grail, so to speak, of uh-huh. minifigures. <laughs> I found a set oh, of 220 oh. little resin ducks that are about a, uh, 0.6 inches long. Uh, they're these little ducks. They come in 11 different oh, colors. No. And I ordered them yeah. earlier in the week. And they actually arrived today. And so now I got a little Ziploc Ooh. bag that's full of 220 little resin plastic ducks. And it's labeled monsters. <laughs> and it's just yeah. sitting on my on my desk over there. Okay. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, it's... So, have you played using it or... Uh, not yet. Um, the battle mat hasn't arrived yet, so we haven't done our first uh, session. Uh, but when it does, things will be interesting. Uh, instead of like the zom- imagine sibling. like instead of a zombie, there's just like a green duck, and it's just like the zombie <laughs> snarls at you. It's the most hideous, gruesome thing you've ever seen. And you look at the board, and there's just a little duck there. And it's like a little, a little, a little thing. It's so cute. If if I was your sibling. I will be trying my best not to laugh because I, I <laughs> want to appreciate the uh, the effort my brother or little brother has gone through to make this happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that yeah, that's 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 pretty interesting. Interesting week, uh, I shall say, shall say. Um, so the markers also came today, if you were wondering. <laughs> ah, nice, nice, nice. What about you? <laughs> All right, me. Um, my week has been. Quite interesting, actually. Um, you know, okay. since last week, the uh, appliance of AC broke. The space aliens from the AC. The, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely sold them to the government. Yep, they're yes. all <laughs> now uh, in Area 51. We're good. Yeah. In terms the Indonesian of version. Another appliance broke, uh-huh. which oh. was actually our um, water container. Um, like, I don't know how it works in the U.S. Cause I know like you can drink out of tap water and it's like you probably take a bath with the same water but you know yeah. here we have different types of water because you buy bottled and basically like 20 gallons of water in just in one go and then just oh, spend that gallon for like the whole week um not maybe like maybe like three days not a, not a week but yeah um and then we have a different water again for like cooking and then a different water that's used for Basically, the tap water, which we use for you know for bath and for washing plates and stuff like that, okay. and 
um, our main like water container for the um, our like bath water and you know washing water basically our dirty water which we kept uh-huh. like on our roof we have like a big container tank thing that's orange colored if you're in Indonesian anyone hearing this you know what I'm talking about <laughs> it's a big orange tank of just water if you look inside it's hideous but you know water comes out clean so who cares um, yeah <laughs> the uh, the thing broke the it's like there's a oh, valve no. right um yeah a valve where it has like a sort of like a small balloon inside it so every time the water rises up and it's almost full this balloon will cover up the valve and basically shut off the main ah. water pump from the um like central water system of the government to our home basically and oh. yeah that that thing broke so it wasn't <laughs> closing which oh. means water was leaking out literally bursting out of the uh, the big container um down Yikes. our roof and it was just making our water bills skyrockets which is which is not good so we tried to fix it we like bought like a new balloon for it because the bo- when we took out the balloon it was hideous it was covered yeah. in moss and Ooh, literal rough. grime slime blackness it was actually Wait. disgusting to look at oh. and it was like the moss had dried so you can literally scrape it off but then underneath oh. are the wet moss it's like a whole alien oh. thing again that i pulled out of that tank which so was, you're saying that aliens have taken over your entire home every yeah, water source yeah. is just there's aliens everywhere i think so yeah oh <laughs> clearly you see it was so it was it was so gnarly to look at i was like i tried to not be because it looks disgusting absolutely disgusting well i would um, imagine when i pulled that balloon out of there and then we were on like a time limit to fix the water tank thing right because well uh-huh. people at the house need to use water obviously so yeah. um we need to fix it as as fast as we could and then yeah the thing was we bought the wrong valve um oh no to the, uh, to, the <laughs> to the broken valve because the broken valve was so covered in grime it was basically uh-huh. not working anymore and um we, were, we we tried to use like uh you know like the wrench to just pull it off and it was it wasn't working because it was uh, the, the moss made it very slippery but then we tried we tried we tried after a couple of tries finally we managed to plug it off but uh we realized that the the pipe going into the um the container was like l shape and we were hoping what? that it okay. was it was a straight so we can just plug the valve in uh, and, and yeah, we I couldn't see. do that because it was l shape so it was a whole other mess took us like a couple maybe like two hours to finally fix the water tank and then it works you know finally got a clean balloon and a clean um valve uh, oh, attached to the dirty pipe and you know no one will see that dirty pipe so it does it doesn't exist if, it, if you don't see it, it doesn't exist so you know yeah. it's it's working now we, oh, can, we can take awesome. a bath now we can wash our plates it's clean water i, I guess and it works <laughs> It's great. It's wonderful. And yeah, I, I, luckily, we finished that right as the wind started to blow and then water started pouring down from the sky. So oh, it was, yeah. we were quite grateful. And then, and oh. then, a couple of days prior to that water thing breaking, we had this uh-huh. like a uh, monthly, I mean, not monthly, like two months, every two months, the, the government or like most people, like requested the government uh, around our area to just have like a pesticide day basically so All they right. just spray pesticide it's basically this white smoke yeah to really kill all the mosquitoes and stuff mosquitoes and then cockroaches um spiders all, basically all 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 the things including okay. like some hornets and stuff like that oh, just, just to cut it off um because mosquito gets crazy here if you're living I would in Indonesia, you would hate mosquitoes as much as you hate cockroaches, as much as you hate spiders. Because they are so annoying, making you <laughs> scratch your leg, scratch every part of your body, because they just keep biting and biting and biting and biting. Oh, it's so annoying. Um, yeah, I 
I hate mosquitoes more than cockroaches or spiders. Of course, there's no cockroaches where I live, and spiders aren't super big where I live. I mean, they can get decent size, but mosquitoes are always annoying I hate... everywhere. I mean, I hate co- mosquitoes too, but I still hate cockroaches way more in terms of, like, at least a, a, a mosquito I can just clap and, yeah. you know, it's, it's dead as it's long dead. as I have sniper aim. Um, you can't do that with cockroaches. You <laughs> slap it. You slap it with a sandal. You know, you know sandals, right? Yeah. Slap with a sandal. You lift the sandal. It flies away. What do you mean? It's supposed to be dead. <laughs> I mean, whenever I get smacked with a sandal, I also die. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, the smoke is coming out uh, from like this guy who like uh, is wearing a hazmat suit. He's like, yeah. just like just blowing all the smoke. So we basically have to open our doors and windows so like the you know the smoke comes in and kills the stuff inside. Well okay. the thing is it's not an insta kill, right? So all <laughs> the bugs at our home just goes like, "Oh no, we got to get out of our hidey holes," which means Oh. At oh, the no. time I was taking a bath, you see. Oh no. <laughs> and comes out from every single hole in the bathroom this like at least if you open your palm, the cockroach was at least, at least your inner palm size, right? Yeah. They were huge. Um, uh. A lot of those came out of the like drainage hole, the toilet, the uh, no. like um, the ventilation system, and then uh, the the not man, not counting the small ones. You see those like yeah. tiny cockroaches, babies. Yeah, all the them just came bits. crawling out of all the holes, and I was like. <gasps> <laughs> because you see, no matter how strong you are, everyone hates cockroaches here. Like, like a whole I class of like me and the boys at, at school, like back in the day. Yeah. One cockroach appears, we all ran away. <laughs> that thing is scary. <laughs> <laughs> or like at least when it's on the ground, we're like we're like gangster. But when it flies, now we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go flee out of there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think that's even a meme of it. Like everybody gangster until the cockroach flies. Like <laughs> everybody gangster until the cockroach flying. Yeah, uh, that's hilarious. Like, uh, I I was I was trapped right because I was thinking of that. I couldn't just like walk out there while I had some uh. soap on my hair or something. And I was like, Whoa! I was like busy screaming, using my shower to shoo away the cockroaches. It's like it was. A, oh, it's. A, Oh no! It was horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> oh, that sounds so funny. <laughs> Not for you, of course, but for me listening to it. Well, it was horrible. It was scarier than any horror game, to be honest. I'm uh, just telling you, my heart was pumping so hard. I would hate I that so like, much. Hey, go away! Go away! <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, I somehow I managed to survive that encounter. Uh, I survived the boss fight, and I I can ex- tell uh, successfully escaped. The abyss that is my bathroom. Um, and my house is in chaos, right? Because there's a lot of, well, insects everywhere, basically. Uh, yeah. And, well, my uh, my other family members were like, help us kill the cockroaches, please. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's like, um, so my, my sibling has a job to kill the cockroaches at the front bathroom, and I have the job to kill the cockroaches at the back bathroom, right? Um, yeah, and one hundred percent has to kill the cockroaches that comes out like on in our driveway. Um, uh, because, yeah, you know, yeah, all at strategic positions just, around the house. They just it's like it, it's like a whole multiplayer boss fight, killing uh, dungeon crawling thing. It was ama- uh, it was not amazing. I was about to say that, but it was not amazing. It was horrible. Yeah. It was we, because we we didn't uh, we used to use like these cockroach swatters. Which yeah. aren't usually uh, just fly swatters. We just used to smack cockroaches. But if we use that, it would literally crack and break because there was so much of them. Oh my gosh, that's. <laughs> we wow. just took a sandal out of the outside and just smack on the floor. If it's on the wall, we throw the sandal at the cockroach Hope it and it fly. dies. Hope it hopefully it doesn't fly. Splattered the thing on the wall and and then it's like 
Gross. It was, it was, let me just tell you, after the pest control, whatever that is, our whole house smelled like cockroach junk. Stink. It was, it was not very nice. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, everyone's just chilling. Some of y'all just sitting there on a chair. You're in the bathtub, of course. And then... Oh, we don't have any bathtub here. Bathtub are, uh, bathtubs for uh, bathtubs for rich people. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're like, okay, soldiers, uh, gather up. Today is roach killing day. Okay, you're gonna be standing by the front door. Make sure none live. Okay, show no mercy, no quarter. You're in the back. Uh, you get a broom. That won't help you, but it'll make you feel better. And you get to deal with the flying ones. And then our person's like. <laughs> And then they start crying, and then you know, you know, um, <laughs> it's it's like because because no one likes cockroaches here, right? So every couple so seconds you hear screams ah! 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 like that <laughs> because someone in the front is screaming, someone in the front bathroom is screaming, I'm in the back bathroom screaming every time a cockroach tries to fly, and I'm just like smack, smack. It's like whack a mole on crack. To be honest, <laughs> it was insane. Oh. Uh... And- you're like trying to get them away from you, but like you want to kill them, so you have to like get close to them, right? Which means yeah. some of them might just land on your feet and you Or in your face. Had to Oh, I was I was wearing a I was wearing a, a helmet at that point. <laughs> I had three oh, bags over so... my head. It was so like to be honest, um by the, uh, at the time of this recording, tomorrow I have a video releasing, uh, a special oh, yeah. of just me screaming at horror games, and <laughs> this was so much scarier than that. So, so much scarier. I had sweat running down, I was shivering, I was screaming every so second. It's crazy, it's crazy. It's been a crazy week. So, you know what this means? Yes. Next time they do the whole pesticide thing, you you figure out when it is beforehand, and then just make sure you are not in the bathroom when it happens. Whatever Agreed. you do, <laughs> I I should definitely not. I'm not gonna be in there stuck in a boss fight while I'm like in a beginner attire. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> level zero, I guess. A level twenty boss. <laughs> Right. Yeah, th- that was that was that was interesting. So, I think we should just move on to the episode, I guess. Yeah, we can talk about <laughs> bugs in another episode. The same one we talk about aliens. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, that was such a fun topic. Oh, we took 20 minutes talking about that. That was amazing. Amazing. Yeah. First 20 <laughs> minutes, I I spent 5 minutes talking. Oh, yeah, I I got these little rubber ducks and then you're like, there was a war in my house. I barely survived. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, my gosh. Oh, yeah, uh, that's yeah. hilarious. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, we're talking about education today, everybody. Education. Hooray! So what's so. it like being at a school? Like, uh, Let's talk like when you're, you know, starting out. You just First day in school, what do you learn? First day. So we're starting like first day ever in school, right? Like ever, ever. Okay. First day ever, ever in school. Uh, it would be kindergarten, which is essentially zero in yes, grade. Yes, that is correct. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, in kindergarten, you show up and I don't, I don't remember. I would, I <laughs> that was a long time ago. Let's see. Uh, I think you show up and they start teaching you like, here is how you add one and two. And you get three, and everyone's mind blown. They're like, Whoa, one cookie, and then you get two happen? more cookies, and now you have three cookies. Oh my gosh. I'm a genius. It's amazing. The world is at my footstep. <laughs> I'm unstoppable I with know. this knowledge. <laughs> ah. And then they start teaching you about what they call takeaways. Or once you reach first grade, they start calling it subtraction. But takeaways is obviously the superior name. Ah. <laughs> Good old days. Takeaways. Interesting. Takeaways. <gasps> you can remove stuff? What? Whoa. If I have three cookies and I take one away, I'm suddenly at two cookies? <gasps> the horrors. The terrors. Ooh. Scary. Scary. But yeah, uh, it's 
five days a week, Monday through Friday, except it might be Monday through Thursday now. A lot of schools near my area have been going to four days a week, which was nice. Uh, Three-day weekends. Ooh, delicious. What? Yeah. Excuse me? Three-day weekends? Yeah. Three day weekends? Yeah, okay. you wake up at seven Wait, for like, school, get home by four. Like till till now, until you know high school, or was it just kindergarten? Um, so I think a lot of places have shorter days for kindergarten, but at, uh, first grade on, it's essentially the same length. Um, no, oh, yeah, okay. But but five days a week, right? Yeah, growing up through oh, elementary school and middle school, it was always five days a week. Always Monday through Friday, Saturday you get off, Sunday you get off. Um, so essentially on kindergarten, you just learn basic math and yeah. you go home. That's it's it. more of a intro to school kind of thing than anything. I, mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Um, but then like halfway through high school, uh, the high school is like, you know what? We're going to try a four day weekend. I mean, not four day weekend, four day week. <laughs> four day weekend would have been awesome. So then they drop Fridays and then. It was Monday through Thursday and something, I don't remember. I think it started about 2020, actually, when mm. they were like, wait, we don't need to have them here five days a week. I think that actually might be the reason. They were like, wait, um, hold up. Yeah. We did a really weird weekends. thing during yeah. COVID, too. Uh, the first, when COVID first hit, obviously, we shut down in March. Uh Everyone mm -hmm. went home. And then they were like, hey, uh, the rest of the assignments this year, you can do them if you want, but your grade will not go down if you don't do them. But it will go up if you get if you do them. And everybody's like, well, I guess school's over early this year. <laughs> Yay. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, and then the next year, we had like mixed learning, I think is what they called it. I honestly don't remember because I didn't really pay attention that entire year um i passed everything well but, clearly yeah <laughs> i was kind of like a little it, it was it was it was locked down everyone everyone went through their things i just did whatever and didn't think about anything um mm -hmm. so they did something akin to one of my least favorite kind of schedules uh I hate A, B day schedules, which is what it's called when on Monday you have these classes, then on Tuesday you have these classes, and on Wednesday you have the first classes again that you had on Monday, the A schedule, and then on Thursday you'd have the B schedule again like you had on Tuesday. And then when Friday rolls around, you have some unholy combination of the two. Um, having all your classes in one day is way better. Um, you cannot change my mind. Whoa. I see. Um... Yeah. So during, how many, yeah. like, in terms of, like, elementary school, if we're, we're talking elementary school, because, you know, kindergarten doesn't count, you know, you just yes. come there, go home, oh, probably didn't learn anything. Um, elementary, what, how many subjects were there? So, in elementary, um, it's, I don't know how they do it over there in Indonesia. But it's different from how we do it here in middle school and high oh, school. Oh, by the way, um, listeners, yeah. I think we forgot to say this, but Sydney here is from America. I'm from oh, Indonesia. Yeah. So we have very different, very, very different, um, you know, education systems. Yeah. I forgot to mention that, but it's okay. Yeah. We're in the middle anyway. All right. Please continue. Good, sir. Yeah. Um, where was I? Oh, yes. Elementary school. Um, so essentially the way it worked. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is a normal thing, but I went to a charter school, which is uh, like a school, but a little bit weird. Uh, it's not a public school. Uh, it's okay. like half public, half private. And we had to wear polo shirts mm. all the time, and I hated it. Um, but that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> we had you one had teacher. Uh, we had to wear polo shirts. Oh, yeah, we had we had a uh, dress code where we had to wear polo shirts every day. At least the guys had to wear polo shirts every day and khaki pants every day. So we looked presentable. Uh, and then the girls were <laughs> essentially okay. the same, but like skirts and dresses were also allowed, I guess. Uh, oh, and then there were jean mm -hmm. days, but I'll talk about those later. Just remind me. Um, 
and no, that right. was just my school, the Jean days. Um, that's not a normal thing. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, we had one teacher. For example, I'll just make up a name. Miss Berkskim Hammond. Um, so let's say our okay. teacher's Miss Miss Berkskim Hammond, because uh, that's a funny name, I right. think, and I just made it up. Uh, oh, also, if your name, if your last name is Berkskim Hammond, uh, then comment down below and leave a like because you are elect among the individuals to have such an eloquent name. Uh, but that's beside the point. <laughs> I agree. Uh, so essentially, through the day, uh, Miss Berkskim Hammond would go like, okay, guys, it's time for math. And then we, she would start teaching us math. And then she would start teaching us science later on or something. Uh, so we typically had uh, maths, um, science, social studies. Uh, so um, one teacher for everything, are you saying? Yeah, during elementary school. But during middle school and high school, oh, it was teachers were per subject. Uh, I see, I see, okay. Uh, so and like, then we uh, also had music. Count. How many was it? Uh, so music. So music class, which was funny. We just went and sang, which probably sounded horrible, and played recorders sometimes. <laughs> um, okay. We did have a different. We had a dedicated music teacher though, um, and a PE teacher. So there was PE, music, uh, uh, science, social studies, mm -hmm. and Four. math. And oh, I swear there was another one. Oh, it's Spanish. As English well. and and reading oh, and English. Six. So so seven. seven seven subjects. Yeah, that sounds very nice. Okay, uh, forward. Okay. Uh, and so you know, English is just it's an English class. It's like okay, guys, we're gonna learn how to use punctuation today. And we're going to learn about it for the rest of your lives because you're never going to get it right because uh, you're elementary schoolers. <laughs> um, uh, and then they're like, okay, now we're going to learn about science. Who likes rocks? Nobody? Oh, well, uh, that's what we're talking about for the next month. Um, this is a igneous <laughs> rock. Here's a metamorphic rock. Here's a sedimentary rock. Uh, and then there's social studies, which was a combination of history and... Actually, it was just history. So why didn't they just call it history? I don't know. Social study. Um, uh, okay. So they're like, hey, we're going to learn about my boy Benjamin Franklin today. Um, Clearly, big man. And then music. We would leave our class, go all the way to the different class. And we would stand on the uh -huh. risers and sing songs about birds and do stupid warm-ups. And I actually might remember some of the warm-ups if I think about it. Hard enough. Let's see. Ah, uh, there's ah, uh, there's one about elephants having wrinkles. Uh, to warm up, we would go. We were singing the elephants have wrinkles song. It was one of those songs that's essentially the same every time. Like you sing it like different <laughs> verses, and essentially it's the same every time. They just change like one little thing. So it's like elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. On their knees, on their knees, on their teeth on their teeth on their nose and then you would list all the previous ones you sang and it was like my 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 and it was long and it would be really annoying to me today but back then it was fine i like mm -hmm. <laughs> it was funny all right <laughs> oh there's also one about jelly beans uh but i'll spare oh, jelly you jelly beans we love jelly beans oh. actually here can um, i can i remember thank you one? so much for sparing me from the pain uh, there's PE, which essentially we just run laps and do push-ups, and uh, that was it. Uh, and then there's like one more class. Spanish. Oh, yeah. Every year, she taught the same thing, which was funny. So <laughs> I know that red is rojo. Did you so... get better grades as it, as it goes on, or just... I honestly don't even remember if we had grades. Uh, I knew we had report cards, but I had never... I never knew what my grades were. <laughs> uh, oh, Okay. But yeah, what about you? What was elementary or younger year school like for you? Um, okay, I guess we, yeah, we can do it like this. So, um for me, at least in we, we have pre kindergarten, you see, which is really interesting because pre kindergarten. Um, you know, most yeah, most parents here, um usually both parents uh, actually work. 
but some are uh-huh. just like the dads work and the mothers at home. Um, yeah. Yeah. For people who are usually like mostly working, they go to the, the their children usually go to this called um, play groups, which is uh-huh. basically like you you send your kid to this place, right, where uh-huh. you know they just play. That, that's it. Yeah. There, there's this there's these caretakers who like guard them so like you know they don't yeah. do crazy stuff but essentially yeah, you're paying someone you're paying someone to watch your kid play that's it that's basically it we have those here too it's called a daycare here though ah uh, i see yeah i never went to one though because my mom stayed at home so Ah, uh, I never went to one as well. Wait, have I? Did I went to one? I'm not sure. Actually, I think I went to one. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I, I won't remember. I, I won't say the place's name, but it was uh, like the front letter was E. Maybe someone knows what I'm talking about. But uh, they would handle these um, from time to time. They would handle these like sort of events where you know yeah. we as a, we know we're, we're literally children. Just, you know. Um, just playing there sometimes they would hold these events where we would wear costumes and then like do these very simple like dance moves of just like moving left and right basically but we would invite the parents to watch right and Aww, you know it's just like for i'm not quite sure what was the point of that but maybe it's for like i don't know wholesomeness or something but um <laughs> it was yeah, for wholesomeness i remember points. wearing a I remember a very distinct memory of me wearing a red sort of vest. Underneath was like a yellow um, long sleeve T-shirt, and yeah. I was—I don't remember what I was doing exactly, but I remember wearing that specific clothes for that event in the play group, or well, yeah, yeah. Care, you say. Um, that's about it in terms of play group, uh, and then we move huh. on to kindergarten, which is one of the best times of my life, to be honest, uh, because. Yeah. So first of all, my schedule was pretty simple. We, I woke up at eight, you know, as you do, eight a.m. in the do. morning, and then you know, take a bath, and then eat some breakfast, and then head for for kindergarten, which was starting at around nine thirty a.m. Right? So, yeah. Started at nine thirty a.m. Um, finished at around twelve, and we, I go home, do my simple homework of you know writing capital letters and lowercase letters. Oh yeah, <laughs> repeatedly, and then I I play for a whole day. That's it. That's about kindergarten, I guess, which yeah. was a Good lot of days. fun because you know, because um okay maybe it was the a bad memory at because the first time I went there, I was so yeah. afraid to like be separated from my parents, right? So I remember yeah. crying, but after that, I just had fun, I guess. Yeah, my was, first day at uh, kindergarten, so nine thirty, yeah. Uh, my first day at kindergarten, my parents dropped me off, and I also cried, and I chased after the car, too. And a teacher had to, oh, like, no. chase me down and go, like, hey, we don't run after cars. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. And it kind of still doesn't make much sense, but I see now that there's no point to chasing cars, because I'm not fast. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, I didn't chase over the motorcycle I was, you know, I was on when I was uh, brought to the kindergarten, but... Uh, yeah, I remember I cried, was upset for a little bit, but, you know, and then, you know, you meet your friends and, you know, get to know each other. Yeah, you forget about five minutes later. There, but, yeah, and <laughs> forget about five minutes later. Exactly. And I remember the last one was like, we were we were studying in kindergarten. I remember that. Like, uh-huh. we were learning basic lettering, but we started learning Mandarin. And you know how hard Mandarin is, you see? I remember we started learning uh-huh. literal Hanchu, which is basically the um, the weird looking letters in Mandarin, and yeah. anyone who have learned Mandarin must know, or like will feel my pain because it's very hard. It's a, it's a it's a hard language to learn, right? Because, for example, <laughs> if I want to say um, me or like I, it's like wo or like W and O, but yeah. then there's like four different ways of saying wo. It's like wo 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 wo. It's like there's like different. <laughs> And all those mean different things. And I was like, okay. what is this? Are we old enough to <laughs> learn this? Like, sure, but okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I didn't listen to the teacher and just 
played around with my head. Anyway, I <laughs> totally never did that. The teacher no. and was not playing with my toys in my pocket. Um, of and course. listened to every single thing the teacher said. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. um, we learned computer, which surprise, surprise, most kids couldn't use computer at that young age. Um, they brought us to this like computer lab, but it was more like padded uh-huh. computer rooms, just in case anyone bumped their head or bumped their feet or anything. Um, yeah. And w- I remember it wasn't really learning computer. It was just like, hey. Here's a computer. Go play some games. Bye bye. All right. One hour done. Now you go back to your class. So it was like it was an interesting period. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, interesting. It was not like crazy games or anything. It was like you know, like those education games, just like Dora or something. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, do you see the fox? I see the fox. So click on the fox or something like that. But it was called mm. Bobby Bola. If you know Bobby Bola, it. Any Indonesian viewers here, you might know Bobby Bola. Um, that's if you know, then you're a 2000 skit. And if you don't know, shame on you. Um, I Bobby don't Bola know. in English is shame on you then. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Bola in English is um, basically translated to Bobby the Ball. Bobby the Ball. So it was basically Bobby, which was a talking ball, helping you learn about stuff around the world using hmm. computer, I guess, which was. Now that I think about it, it was a pretty boring game. But then again, it, it was for education, right? <laughs> and I was a kid, so I was um, entertained by rocks. And we, so that was another level. Yeah, of that was... <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And then we would learn like... Um, oh, I remember this. We, we learned English, right? Because English isn't our... Well, clearly, it wasn't our main language. We, you know, we speak yep. Indonesian. Um, and we, we learned Indonesian as well, but... Uh, we learned more deep in terms of like the basics of English because like we were trying to prepare for elementary, which you know has harder English and stuff like that. Yeah. Tenses, all all the jibbity jabbity stuff. Um, yeah. And then we would learn math, which let me just tell you guys, my math wasn't great, but um, you know, addition, subtraction. That's about it, I think. Um, just like Basic math. five minus four is one, and I was like, "Whoa, that's possible! How is that possible?" And like, Three plus My seven is ten, oh. and then you can y- use your fingers to count. And I was like, "Whoa, my fingers can count! What? That's insane!" I thought I could only use my fingers to poke people in the eye. What is this? Witchcraft. Yeah, <laughs> and the, I remember this session since this was like nine thirty a.m. to like twelve p.m. Yeah. in terms of like us being on there before we go home so we have one session of lesson and then one session of break where we just you know played with the toys that were you know prepared in the classroom and then one another session of uh lesson whether it's like physical activities or uh the weird computer session or the uh math stuff uh per day it's just like two sessions of lesson and then we eat lunch at school Mm, yeah for some reason which you know, I could have like submitted a uh, a feedback to just you know after lunch and go home so I can eat lunch and hope. But they were like, no, nope, no, no, we're eating lunch here and then you go home, which was a weird. Is it thing is it not normal had. to eat lunch at school? No, no, I mean like um, if we're just eating lunch and then we go home, why not just oh, like, go yeah. home and then eat lunch at home? You know what I mean? Yeah, I see it's what like, you're. Why give a break time to eat lunch at school to just then go home? Why not just yeah, that is go home quicker it's and like, eat lunch at home? It was, oh, we're it gonna was weird. run around. Right? But then Before again, I was going to um, yeah, and mostly kindergartens are mostly private owned. You know, uh, the public owned, yeah. government owned stuff is usually just elementary to high school. So you know, um, ah. mostly kindergartens are private owned. And the one I go to here, they have this weird system of the, you know, lunch before you go home, right? And Uh I was a slow eater. I, you know, you know a kid's meal, right? It's it's not a lot. Um, No, it's not. It would take me an hour to finish my meal. Um, It was, that's not, that's no exaggeration, by the way. I literally took an hour to finish it. Um, You know, the the break time was like 20 minutes. So most kids finish at like 30 even though it's past the time and like yeah, the teachers don't really care they're just like okay it's okay you just eat slowly just don't don't choke i guess and you know 30 minutes is fine and um i have 
I have so many distinct memories of just me alone in a dark class, oh. waiting for <laughs> like maybe not not, not you know the teachers can turn off like parts of the light, but not most of it. Uh, just like yeah. the lights that you know show me and my food, I guess, um, because most of the classes is dark and so. Just uh, sitting there alone, eating while the teachers like handling the other kids go home. I just, I was just there eating for another hour, which is, which is kind of sad. But then again, I was a slow eater, so yeah. Um, I'm still surprised you managed to a stretch now. a meal out an entire hour. Here's the thing, though. Um, I I brought this habit till I was elementary, at least grade four, which was yeah, you know, a long time uh, to be eating an hour. Quite a while. So. Uh, like early early times of the elementary, I would literally just not finish my food and just bring it home and eat it again at home because that, I just take too long to eat. You see, um, huh. yeah, I would you know eat and then stay in class late because I was eating so long and sometimes my uh, at the time we had like a nanny or like someone our home at our home who like take cares of the children. You know, um, yeah. That person was like sometimes annoyed at me because I was just taking too long to eat at school. <laughs> like, you yeah, know, she had to come funny. early to pick me up, but then I wasn't there at you know at the pickup point, and she had to like wait for a long time until I came down with the teacher. You know, it was it was a whole thing. But yeah, that's funny. That was me in um, kindergarten. Now we move on to elementary, which was the worst. I mean, not maybe not worst. Um, a bad experience, I might say, um, oh, yeah. because I've had some some bad experience, but some good ones as well. But I guess the bad okay. ones are more memorable, I guess. Um, huh. Where you know, first first day at elementary school, I was so confused. Like, mom, why aren't we going to the same you know kindergarten? I was I was always going for two years because you know you're in kindergarten yeah. for two years at least where where I where I live, and then. I was like, I was so used to going to that kindergarten. It's like my second home, basically, right? Like, if I go there, I feel safe. But then we're in this new building, this new big building. A lot of students, some are very tall. I was like scared. But where, where are you taking me to? No, please oh, bring oh. me back. Bring me back. <laughs> I don't want to go. And yeah, I was like, I don't want to go. Please, please spare me. And I was okay, sure. Um, I, you know, yeah, I, I, I well. My parents had to left. Like, oh, no, I remember crying again because you know it's a new building, it's a new place. Um, yeah. And first grade, uh, there's a lot of stuff you learn. You see, um, we had English, we had Indonesian, which is two uh, already two language. We have Mandarin, so that's three, and then we have math four. We have social studies five. We have history six. We have um, geography seven. We have um, wait. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Not, 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 not. Wait, was it geography? Sorry, no geography. Geography is uh, later on. Uh, sorry. Okay. So it's after history. We've got social studies, which is basically a combination of geography and uh, like, well, social studies. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then we had uh, wait. So that's English. And then we had. Oh wait, what's that lesson name? Oh, I forgot. Uh, physical activities. So that's eight. We have music. Uh-huh. That's nine. We have arts. That's ten. And I think that's about it for elementary school. We did have Which art stuff lot. too, I guess. Come to think of it, so. Yeah, but still, it's like um, for you, it's like uh, you have like another class that's dedicated to music, right? This is just you yeah. have to do music. You have to. <laughs> At least where I go to. Um, most like public schools don't have, I think. But uh, yeah. where I go, since I go to a private school, um, you know, because you know, public schools are more for people who actually couldn't pay for education because they're well, they're free to go. You know, they're, they yeah. you don't need to pay anything. So yeah, since uh, well, at the time my parents could afford, I guess they brought me to a better school, uh, which was the private schools, I guess. Hmm. So I went there, um, 10 lessons every day, not every day, sorry, 10 lessons spread out to the uh, five day a week. Um, okay. So we would go to school at around seven, I guess. Um, so yeah, we would start school at seven and finish at one. So that's around six hours of, of school. 
Um, we, I would go from like seven in the morning to one p.m. in the afternoon, and yeah, um, I had a sibling who went to the same school. Right, he was um, a couple years older than me, and okay. they they would go home at around two p.m. or maybe even closer to three p.m. Right. And since uh-huh. I went home at 1 p.m., I would always have to be, like, picked up first and go home first, right? But, you know, yeah. and then after I go home, it's boring because there's no one at home. Like, my siblings are at school literally going home later uh, than me. Yeah. So, I would, like, wishing, like, oh, it would be so cool to go home a bit later. You know, I, I, I changed my <laughs> mind after high school. But, you know, at the time, I was like, oh, going home late sounds fun. Uh, studying more sounds fun. No, it was not. So you were a nerd? Um, oh. No, I was, oh, no, I was a nerd. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, whoa, studying is cool. Like, uh, going, uh, it's, uh, no, it's not like I, I like study. I mean, I like studying, but not like, like studying at the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I get what It was saying. more like, I want to go home late so I don't have to be home alone, right? And, yeah. Uh, you know, staying longer at school, you can play with your friends. And we had like a little playground area, you know, with the sand and the slide. Yeah, the we did too. Bars and, you know, that kind of stuff. So, uh, while usually while waiting for uh, me to get picked up, we, we were allowed to play on the playground. So, you know, play with your friends, um, climbing up the monkey bars where you weren't supposed to climb and then falling down, injuring your knee or whatever. It was, yeah, it was a whole <laughs> thing. And I remember distinctly, that I had such bad handwriting, right? Because yeah. um, apparently, when I was uh, well, I was told this by my parents, but apparently, when I was, uh, you know, where how, you, you you know, as a baby, you used to crawl, and then you can finally learn to walk and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Um, apparently, I I I was able to walk faster, like a lot faster than most babies, right? Ah, and, you speed you running, know, my folks. My parents thought my yeah my parents thought it was a good thing but apparently when i was bigger and you know brought to the doctor again apparently walking faster means your my hand wasn't strong enough to like you know ride for longer periods um all that jibbity jabbity a lot of stuff uh that that was basically a a setback if you can if the baby can like walk faster than more more like longer periods of just crawling so Mm -hmm. I had bad handwriting, so I couldn't write very long. Um, and we, I had to, I was embarrassed to say this, but I had to go to a writing support. So we had this like additional uh, classes apart from the, the, the main school classes from seven to one. You can go to this additional one for another hour. Um, yeah. like most people go to like this math support, right? For, well, supporting yeah. math. And I had to say that I had to go to a writing support. It was humiliating. But yeah, well, I had bad handwriting. Like, I could, so bad. Like, the teacher couldn't read what I was like trying to explain or like write in the in an assignment. So that was bad. Yeah, so that's yeah, kind I had of to important. go to this writing support. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I I just and have bad handwriting. <laughs> it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> I still had bad handwriting. Yeah, I my handwriting is really bad. bad handwriting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah, it, it, I, some of my friends have like. Uh, like you know, there's a stereotype that you no know, girls have better handwriting. But yeah. I have one guy friend who writes very nice, and I was like, "How did you do that? That's that's bad. What is this witchcraft? <laughs> what is this witchcraft? Yeah, I agree. I was about to say that. Oh, uh, and yeah, that was basically elementary school grade one, and then grade two, you get upgraded. You see, um, oh. You move to another, first of all, you move to another class, uh, which was deeper in the school. So I thought that was cooler, I guess. And our school was like this rectangle shape and with an uh-huh. inner rectangle of the, uh, like the field, the, uh, the badminton, the, uh, you know, basketball field, I guess. And, you had a badminton field? That's um, cool. Yeah. We, I, no, you know, it can, it's, it's like, it's like an optional badminton field. Like they can set it up, but, it's not always yeah. on there. It's only like if the PE teacher requires it. Yeah, we um, just had grass. It's oh, <laughs> that sounds you know that, that still sounds nicer than our you know concrete field field that you know if you fall you just that's true. instantly injure yourself. We uh, did get basketball yeah. hoops later on though, so that's nice. 
Yeah, we already had basketball. I mean, it, the private school was pretty new. I guess that's why my parents chose it because it was, yeah. you know, on the low end in terms of prices. Uh, but it's, it's still better than uh, in terms of a uh, public school. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, bada bing, bada boom. Um, grade two, we went to another class. I remember my teacher. I don't remember my teacher in grade one, but I remember my teacher in grade two. She mm-hmm. was strict but very kind um i i really okay. liked that teacher and you know she was very supportive but sometimes angry at me because i kept playing with my stationaries um i yeah. i remember this because i kept playing with my stationaries until i was in um middle school no joke middle school oh. i was still playing with my stationaries and i had all this like plot and universe built into it like it was so cool at the time. Uh, like I, I'm thinking back now, it's still cool. Like how <laughs> how did I came up with that? Like I had this whole this whole plot, this whole origin story of the characters. Like I I had the main character of a pencil, and the like side character of him was like the eraser, and they had like this oh. adventures plan to like save the world. Blah blah blah. It was it was actually insane. It was like mm. how did I ca- came up with this as a kid? It was crazy. Confirmed uh, mythic yeah. publishing a book. Mm. Oh. Oh, ooh, ooh, oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. I and then I had in this universe I was building, I had like dragons and I was like this weird creatures that I called Cluck Cluck at the t- at the time, which at what? until now I don't know why <laughs> I called them that, but okay, it was named that at the time. Um, it was like, yeah, since I was playing with stationery, I was also playing with you know my hands as the you know the uh-huh. side characters, I guess. Um. Uh, yeah. I, I. This. This. This might be another. Another time. Because this story of the uh, the universe I built. I can literally talk for for an hour about this. Because I mean, I you made an entire a, like, universe. Finished. So. <laughs> uni- yeah. Entire. It was. It was insane. It was actually insane. Okay. I can talk about that later. Anyway. Yeah. Uh. Great. Great two. Right. Elementary. Um. We learned basically the same lessons, but you know, harder. And we learned. Uh. We started lear- learning like past tense. Um. In terms of like English. And then the Indonesian was a bit harder as well because mostly in Indonesian we uh, we started to learn like how to write in like a calligraphy way. Do you know that? Yeah, calligraphy. Like connecting letters and stuff uh, like that. We fancy. started to learn that, Cursive. which you know, I don't remember till now like how to do that. But some people do. Like why? Yeah, I don't remember um, how to write like that either. But we also learned it in elementary. Yeah, school. like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what, what was the point of that? <laughs> what do we have to learn. Okay, anyway, I, I so learned that, <laughs> and I I remember I keep getting bad grades on the uh, connecting letters because I keep forgetting like, do I connect this on the top? Do I connect it on the bottom? Like, uh, what is an L and an H? What's the difference in the in the connecting words? You know, they look very much identical and stuff like that. Yeah. And yeah, there was it was a whole whole thing, and um, history was boring uh, because you know uh, we lo- basically. In history class, right? We say we learn the same history classes every year. <laughs> it's like really? your Spanish stuff, but it's history. And oh, interesting. Um, you know, it's it's yeah, it's the same thing, but you know, they add more stuff for you to like memorize and stuff for that. Uh, for example, because we learn well our history, we don't learn American history. We, of course, we learn our own like Indonesian well, history. Yeah. <laughs> hey, today we're going to talk about Americans' history again. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like we're talking about kingdoms of like at the old age and we're talking about the, the independent stuff but like for this example we learn kingdoms. about 10 points um of information and then on grade two we learn like 14 points of the same information uh but with the added four like that all right and yeah we learned the same stuff multiple times but they also built on it but we also varied it a bit so mm-hmm. independence uh or the revolutionary war we've learned i've learned like three separate times at least probably um but each one more and more detailed yeah yeah same like that so each every time we learn the same thing again it's like even more detailed version of the last one yeah um which i believe i can speak for all indonesians here we all hate learning kingdoms right come on please leave a like if you hate kingdoms <laughs> It was, it was Imagine a whole having... jabbery of, of just a mesh of the stuff 
in the <laughs> yeah. kingdoms topic. It was so annoying. Like, oh, you have to learn kingdoms again. Ah, oh, next is, month's gonna be a suffering. No. Is kingdoms uh, like, is like learning about like before United Indonesia? Like learning about all the little yeah, like pre nations pre nineteen nineteen eighteen hundred seventeen hundreds time of Indonesian like where it's still that split would be into, cool. like hundred hundreds of kingdoms like yeah, small the american, ones and big ones yeah the american uh, education system doesn't learn about the native american tribes essentially at all um oh which is interesting that's sad yeah it's not great Very i mean sad. i think i could name like two maybe three tribes which is definitely not a good thing not representing uh, of all the tribes that existed at the time yeah yeah, we we don't learn about just the stuff in our you know the nearest and uh, the near and the Independence Day. We just, we also yeah. learn about the stuff like predates even like the first you know actually yeah. intelligent. Not I'm not saying the old people are dumb, but like <laughs> the actual like you know uh, high modern civilization individuals at the time. Yeah. yeah, what we learn uh, before before U.S. history, we learn about European history mostly. And like British history, uh, essentially, if it has to do okay. with the origin of the United States or an event that leads to the origin somehow, uh, then I guess we learned that I we didn't see, learn I much see. about Africa um, or South America or Asia. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Do you want to speak about third grade to sixth grade, or should I go first? I think you should go. I mean, I've been talking long enough. Third grade to sixth. Is, is that what you said? Uh, third, third grade to sixth grade, and then right. my turn, and then you know, and so on. So, third to sixth was a lot like the first grades, except we learned more complicated stuff. You know, um, in sixth grade, uh, music class was expanded into band and choir Yo. and orchestra, and oh. I was in band, so I played the trumpet. And it was required to pick one of the three. So I picked the cool one. Uh, and see, it I was see. the cool one, obviously. Um, and so, <laughs> obviously, yeah, that, clearly. that's how I played the trumpet. I can't play it anymore, mm -hmm. but I can play the piano. So that that's fine. Um, nice. That's uh, about it in terms of third to sixth grade? Well, that, for music, yeah. Um, during that time... Interesting stuff happened in terms... Oh, so yeah. my school wasn't like fully built until after I left, actually. Um, so oh. kindergarten, we were all I remember is it, it was like red buildings that looked kind of like a barn. It wasn't a barn, but it reminded me as a child of a barn. Um, OK. And then the next year they had moved locations. They had gotten new land and they had these portable, essentially metal cubes that we lived in we called them the portables um okay it's about the same shape as the uh backs or of semi trucks you know like the trailers yep i know i know uh not not quite as long though um and they were furbished inside for a furnished furbished but furnished inside for a classroom <laughs> and okay so during fifth and sixth grade, they actually constructed a permanent building. Uh, and Ooh. that's when they added the like courts, like the uh, basketball courts. We had some uh, four square courts painted on the ground. So four square was oh. all their age. I don't think I ever played basketball at school, come to think of it. But we did play four square all the time. Okay. Good old four square. That's good old holds four square was it four square yeah uh do you know how to four play four square, square? Uh, nope so essentially there's a two by two grid of squares on the ground they're big squares maybe like two meters wide um each square mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and there would be a cycle so one square is what we call the king square and essentially every round the king starts with the ball, and it's like one of those rubber bouncy dodgeballs that makes a fun sound when you smack it, you know? Yeah, uh, I know, I know. And uh, you start in the corner, and then you pass it. You have to bounce it in your square once, I think. No, 
no, you you bounce it in someone else's square. Um, and uh, if it bounces twice in your square, then you're out. If it bounces in your square and then goes out, then you're out, like out of the big square. Or if you knock it uh. out of the square, then you're out. Uh, and so essentially, you're trying to keep it out of your square uh, and try to get other people out. And then once you go out, you uh. go back in line and everyone else fills in your spot. Yeah, it's a fun game. And then we had like these power ups, like the the what was it? cherry power bomb. Power ups. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. House rules, and everyone argued over them. Um, but like cherry bomb, where you would take it with two hands, take the ball, jump up, and slam it on the ground as hard as you could, so it would bounce super high in the air. It probably only went like six feet <laughs> into the air, but it was we were short, so it was awesome. <laughs> And then there was like yeah, snake yeah. eyes where you look like you're going to pass it to someone, but you pass it to someone who you're not looking at. And so it surprises them and things like that. Oh, uh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, in terms of. Okay. Did you have any more stories to tell or should I just go? Well, let's see. Education wise. Uh, okay. Six, right? Uh, this will be the last thing before I let you go. Sixth grade, we got our first lockers. And I was super excited. Whoa. And I used them. Whoa. And I've never used lockers since. <laughs> uh, that's what that is. Okay. So, yeah. That's Why? that's a fun little thing. Uh, because we were allowed to bring our backpacks into class. So, everything I had was in my backpack. So there's literally no reason to go to my locker. True. Very true. All right. Okay. In terms... Okay. Uh, when I was in third grade, yeah, I, I distinctly remember such a good memory in third grade. I had such a good homeroom teacher. Um, she was an English teacher, but, you know, she also... Like, um, was English, she was a very good homeroom teacher, I would say. Um, oh, of course. One of the best, one of the best um, homeroom teacher that I've ever like been taught with, or like uh, oh. you know, Sweet. have an acquaintance of. And uh, I don't remember her name now because it's been so long. But um, yeah. at the time, I remember like I really enjoy being with this teacher. Hopefully, I can like you know next year maybe I get I can get the same homeroom teacher. Well, that didn't happen. But also um, at the time. We finally we were receiving new like teachers in the school, right? Of um, course. And they they were foreigners actually. So oh. two teachers, sorry, three three teachers came from Philippines, and one teacher okay. came from America, the oh. glorious country of America. Yes, that uh, is it is um, my personal favorite country to live in. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're totally biased, but okay. Um, yeah, that's completely there, true. Th this teacher. The, this teacher was a guy, and he was he was a big boy. He was a a very very um, strong looking man, and he was uh. our like um, since our English teacher was our homeroom teacher as well, and she was like uh, also technically handling homeroom for the next class. Sometimes uh -huh. he would be teached uh, by this new teacher, the, the American guy, and yeah. it was very interesting for us at the time because like we have we had never like uh, you know encountered with a, an actual foreigner, right? So I was yeah. like, "Whoa, this man's cool. He's Whoa. packed to the. He's packed with a with a big muscles. Yo, this is cool. You know, <laughs> it's um, the muscle guy, the American. And, and remember, I I, I remember, uh, like, whoa, why is like, yo, you're like so so white and so tall. So your nose is very long. It was, it was very like, wait, you know, what <laughs> nose is like very getting long? Getting to know each other, but yeah, you know, m most American have a." Have a, have a big nose, you see. Okay. <laughs> Most of us Asians have like these squished nose. So, you know, at the time I was like, whoa, that's okay. a different nose. What? That's amazing. <laughs> this nose is so massive. <laughs> I know. It's like, whoa. And it's when, you know, when we were like the teacher, you know, introduces himself and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, it was more of like, instead of just, you know, a class introducing each other, it's more of us surrounding the teacher <laughs> and like absolutely <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah you know what i mean like yeah, ganging up on him like, that, Whoa, that's funny like, this is a new guy blah 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 it's like kind of cool and i remember he taught us a game 
Um, it was like musical chairs, but not really. It's called Fruit mm-hmm. Basket. I don't know if you played a bit before. But, fruit Basket? Um, I have not heard of Fruit Basket. I've heard of a Fruit Basket, but I don't not know the if, game. <laughs> I don't know this man. I don't know if this man created this game out of thin air, but it was a pretty fun game. He might have. Um, <laughs> he might have invented it, but yeah, Fruit Basket. So we uh, every time it's his class, we always play Fruit Basket. And I, I was always so excited for English. Like, when is English? Oh, on Friday. Oh, it's going to be exciting on Friday. Yo, it's like it's such an exciting, like, um, excitement for school for some reason. Just for yeah. English, though. Um, <laughs> I was like, okay, uh, Friday, we have fruit baskets again. Yeah. It's like fruit baskets, like, basically, we, we push all the desks uh, to the edge of the class. And then we make a round circle out of the chairs, you know? And uh-huh. the teacher would say... Um, the teacher would pick one person to start the game off it. Uh, I forgot to be exact how you play the game, but uh, one, yeah. one student would say one word, and sh- um, he or she would have to like pick another person, and that person has to like I forgot either continue the sentence or like something with the word. And ah. if they can't do it, then uh, someone calls or like that person, if, uh, the person that that pointed the other person, if they can't answer. She or she, she or he calls a uh, fruit basket, which means everyone switch their seats, but one seat is taken out, oh. so one person will be eliminated. You see, so. I oh. I forgot exactly how it works, but at the time I remember that was being the most fun of my life. That in sounds like grade, a fun game, in yeah. terms of in terms of elementary school, and then came the deadly fourth grade. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, fourth grade. No. Fourth grade was horrible. Um, I I got the killer homeroom. You see, um, the uh-huh. teacher was a uh, um had temper issues. Uh, was very 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 mad most of the time. Um, <laughs> she was when she was kind. She was very very kind. But and when she's normal or just angry, oh, it's like the end of the world, my friend. Oh, it was, it was very scary. Um, I remember. Um, so you know about the bad handwriting in the first grade. Uh-huh. Remember that? Uh oh, it came back here. Uh-oh. I remember we had an assignment, right? Um, it was a uh, we need to borrow some books from the library to write an essay about said book, and we had this policy at the time. So you know you can go to library anytime, and you can borrow yeah. two books maximum per week and before you can borrow any more books you must return those two books right yeah and um you know there's a lot of great amazing books in there that's why i always borrow uh two books at the time and just like read them at home but of I, course. I forgot that we had that assignment like it was announced a week before like please do not borrow any books so you know we can borrow the books for the uh, assignment uh. right i forgot i i borrowed i forgot about what book but i borrowed two books and or my book slot is you know it's gone right I, c- I couldn't borrow any more books and at that d day i was like oh no what am i supposed to do right because yeah. um you know you aren't allowed to borrow a card uh, a friend's card to borrow a book you have to use like your own student card to borrow the book you know yeah. so it's like input it to da- the school data and all that yeah um, that makes sense so i went we, we were given 20 minutes to go to the library pick a book borrow it and bring it back to the class I was the last student in the library because I had to read it there, right? I couldn't bring it out of the library, so I had to speed run, uh, read a book. Like People had 20 minutes to look for a book. I had one minute to look for a book, pick one, and read that for the 19 minutes. Oh, uh, that was sounds fun. <laughs> really fun i like just speed ran to the book I, I read the summary and then i speed ran to like most of the book okay so it's about this it's uh technically about this okay 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 and 20 minutes is up we need to go out i went out without a book the others had books on them and i was like oh, okay hopefully the teacher does not notice i don't have a book and you know we entered the class you were given a, yeah. an a4 paper like a whole blank paper you have to fill it up from top to bottom front and back sorry just the front uh, yeah. top to bottom with, with the essay about said um, book we have borrowed. And I was like, I did not expect this was going to be this much words. Am I going to fill it up? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> so I was like, okay, guess I'll just mix things up along the way. <laughs> so I'm huh. going to write it out. And, you know, the teacher uh, was at the time sitting at her desk, just, you know, waiting for us to finish. And... Mm-hmm. 
uh, around halfway through, she, you know, patrols on the class, you know, checking on the students' progress and all that. And she saw my paper. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> uh oh. She was like, where is your book? And I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't have a book. I already borrowed. I already announced to not borrow any books. Like, I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh -oh. And she looked at my paper. Okay, at least let me see your paper. And she, she pulls out uh -oh. my paper. Looks for two seconds, rips it in half, oh. <laughs> crumples it in her hand, threw it in the trash bin in front of me, and I was like, I was literally silent at that time. The class was silent. Everyone looked at like my vicinity and knew what was going on. I was like, I got, oh. <laughs> oh no! It was it was so traumatic, and she was just, <laughs> she just slammed a new paper on me uh, on the on the desk I was sitting on, and she told me. Okay, I will give you, um, like, I forgot how many minutes it was because, like, the library was quite far from our classroom, right? Uh, she yeah. gave me, like, some certain amount of time that I had to go to the library, apologize to the librarian, and say that uh, the teacher needs the book that I was going to borrow, and then come back, rewrite the whole essay with good handwriting. Uh, I not don't the good have handwriting. good handwriting. Yeah, me neither. So... <laughs> To be honest, it's probably for for the best of my own mental health, but I don't remember what happened after that. <laughs> um, I just know that you know I finally, you know, graduated fifth grade and sorry fourth grade and you know went to fifth grade. Yeah. Woo! That was stressful. It's an exciting <laughs> story. It was yeah. I guess the the one positive of that teacher was she allowed toys in the classroom when we were fourth grade. Like okay. past past second grade, you aren't allowed to have any toys in the classroom. Yeah. Sorry, past past first grade, past first grade, you aren't allowed to have any toys in the classroom. So you know, second and third grade, we don't have any toys. But you know, third grade was fun. We had that cool teacher who went Obviously. out the next year, so that was okay. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, fourth grade, we had toys. Like we could play bowling. Oh, another story. Okay, I remember this one. Um, okay. We are. The teacher, this killer teacher, made us make uh, like a project, right? We were making like a uh, wall posters, you know. Um, yeah. It it was shaped like a house, but then it has it had like uh, empty squares in the middle of it. Like there was like at least a hundred empty squares, and every day if we get um, a good score above eighty, we can sign one square with our like either a signature or you can we can like we are allowed to bring stickers like uh, place one stickers on there you know and yeah the teacher assigned one student to like keep track of everyone's score so no one cheats you know um, yeah makes sense and yeah makes sense and uh we will use that points to basically play right because um yeah. she, she remember when i said when she's kind she's very kind she yeah. also bought snacks with her own money not school's money uh, Ooh, like, nice. in terms of like you know chips um chicken stuff like that and puts it chicken. in the class Ooh, but it, that you can spend your points that you have collected on the board you know so like yeah. buy those snacks technically and yeah like redeeming points right so you know i worked hard studied hard to collect those points because if you reach 40 points you can spend all 40 at once just to just play with the toys at uh, at the classroom um, that she prepared during lunch break and breakfast break, right? And yeah. I remember on remember how I I, I I was a you know slow eater. Yeah. I learned and I forced myself to learn how to eat fast because I wanted to play <laughs> on uh, fourth grade. That's how that's how that's I, how it well, happened. It came to be to this point. Yeah. I was like I was super motivated to like oh, I want to spend my points I want to play blah 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 and blah 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 and then I remember one day I made a mistake I don't remember what mistake but it was a pretty horrible mistake because oh, it was, no. I was I don't remember the mistake itself but um the punishment was etched to my mind I was at thirty nine points you see just one more point and I can you know I can finally spend all my points and play every time it's lunch break and yeah. I did this you know mistake which. I can't. I honestly can't remember what I did, but um, someone right. reported that I did this mistake and oh, so no. to her and 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 she called me to her table. I was like, 
did you do Uh-oh. this? I'm like, I don't. I was like, uh, yes. And then she was, she stand, she, she stood up, g- went to my poster, rips it in half, crumples it on her hand, throws it in the bin, asks me to make a new one, and restart from zero. She likes ripping things in half and crumpling them up, doesn't she? E- that's like her signature. My friend. Uh, cheated on points, right? Um, no. Ripped in half. Gone. And then my friend, my other friend, was heard saying bad things about the teacher and was reported. Oh, no. Also had his pa- uh, his poster ripped in half in the trash instantly. So, you know, it was, cool. it was interesting. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had anything of mine ripped in half at school. Yeah, it was. Well, it unless was pretty, I uh, <laughs> It was pretty traumatic, to be honest. And yeah, that was fourth grade. That's why I learned how to wow. write good on fourth grade. But you know, after fourth grade, when I, I was in fifth grade, I, I, you know, I have bad handwriting again. You know, it was just like temporary. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, I also learned how to eat fast from then to well to till this day, which I was sort wow. of grateful for because you know. I was motivated to play during breaks, so I just, yeah. well, you know, went with it. And and then on, on what's it called, fifth grade, I joined what's called a math support because I was bad at math. Oh, <laughs> but no. But here's the thing. The, the math teacher was actually pretty fun. Um, he was the guy from oh, Philippines. Um, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he was, uh, I remember his, his teaching, you know, ways are fun. And I remember enjoying myself. Like, even though it's a mass support technically for the failing students, I literally had a lot of fun in there. And, yeah, you know, um, all in all, fifth grade is fun. I, I love fifth grade. All right. Move on to sixth grade. Sixth grade. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, what happened at sixth grade? It's a blur, but I'm pretty sure it was, you know, a lot of fun mostly. And, you know, some drama happened here and there, but, you know, sixth uh-huh. grade is pretty much boring. Apart yeah. from the fact that, um, you know, we switched, like, our seating positions every time, right? Um, yeah. At least education systems where I live, it's like uh, on elementary. You stay in one class and then the um, the teacher of the subject comes to your class and you know teaches and comes out and then you oh. have a break and then the next teacher comes in blah 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 like that right and yeah. every month we would like switch seats so it was like gonna be rolled again randomly like okay. um who was gonna sit where and i i managed to always pick the same seat i remember <laughs> I was, it, it was at the front of the class i know it's not like you know most people would like to sit at the back of the class, but yeah, I was sitting I'm at the front of the people. class, the most left. Like you know, when I was elementary, I was de- determined to learn, not so uh, much in yes. high school, but you know, when I, when I was uh, I was really uh, enthusiastic to learn. I s- sat at the front at the most left chair near the window. I remember, and um, yeah, and I broke my chair. You broke on purpose. Oh, on purpose. Mm-hmm. How on purpose, break chair? yeah. <laughs> I was a, uh, I was a rascal. You see, uh, uh. the chairs was like these plastic chairs, but with um, metal. What's called metal legs, and oh uh, yeah, um, plastic school the, chair. It was attached with like these four bolts on each side, right? Four bolts. Yeah. And I would like, you know, since it's boring in class, sometimes you know you're, you're like, you know, fiddling around, and I managed to somehow pull the bolt out. <laughs> uh, out of one of the one of the four bolts out, and the chair and the was chair you know a bit a bit like the rocking chair, you know, it's like going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. You know? So, I decided to make it more fun. So I pulled the other bolt out, so I can <laughs> go even Very further smart. in terms of rocking back and forth. And then I pulled out the third one, and it was even more rocking back and forth. Um, a lot of and rock. the last one, I could technically pull it out as as well. Uh, like I discovered how to pull it out like effectively after the second one. Huh. <laughs> like, um, but I didn't pull it out just in case you know the teacher wants to move the chair and you know suddenly the 
top comes off you know that's 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 not fun right so i, I was oh, keep no it on, no definitely uh, not fun but sometimes i pull it off and then just switch the whole thing so the the um the lean back side of the chair is for the one for the sitting and the sitting is for the lean back for for some reason i find that amusing at the time <laughs> mm. and yep that's pretty much sixth grade well i think that's a good point that to wrap up this episode since it's been going a bit longer than our first episode we'll probably <laughs> do a part two but thank you guys so much for listening don't forget to subscribe if you're watching on our youtube channel or to follow mm -hmm. or whatever it is, subscribe, follow, uh, on Spotify, share, Google Podcasts, you know, all those. Yeah. So make sure to check out Squid Me's channel on YouTube yes. or my channel, Mythic Magician, on YouTube. Of course. And don't forget to bring your passports and. You, you are not going to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. Well. Don't forget to grab your passports before you head out, and you guys have a wonderful day or night or whatever, wherever it is you are. Uh, have fun. Stick around for the next episode. Bye. Bye.